Normally when a girl plays games, some guys would criticize. It's not a lot of female gamers uh, dare to like participate because of all this criticism. So basically there are some guys who encourage us to do so. I like feel grateful to them. The thing that Shanice is talking about is something we've seen in all traditional sporting competitions. Going pro is not just for bros, be it in tennis, golf, and football. Women in professional sports has become the norm, not the exception. And it could soon be game over for the term girl gamer. As esports gains greater acceptance and popularity, it's reflected in its fans, viewing audiences, the clamor by blue chip sponsors, and bigger cash prizes. All of this resulting in a multi billion ringgit industry that's growing all across the world. So you're 19 years old, you're traveling around the world, you're playing video games. Yeah. It's a pretty good deal. Yeah. My name is Shanice. I'm currently studying psychology in Inti Subang. And I play Counter-Strike Global Offensive uh, competitively. At about 17 years of age, Shanice played CSGO online. Understandably, gamers often connect with each other without ever having to meet face to face. But when she enters her first ever tournament, Shanice found camaraderie and friendship with what is now her team. It's called Sphinx. It's a full female team, but uh, there's six of us in total. We also have one coach. Basically, normally I would just go for classes like a normal student, and if my friends have time, we'll hang out after that, and then, and then I'll just go back and then. I'll just start playing or do other stuff. I feel I started like primary school, those stickman games like Cooking Mama and like all those. And then after that, my brother actually asked me to play with him. The first game he asked me was Black Shot, so I played with him. Then after that, you beat him. No, 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 he beat me. We move on to another game called CSGO, and then he like introduced me to like a lot of people in the community. And so this is her game of choice, CSGO. That's Counter-Strike Global Offensive. A favorite among core PC gamers, the title has consistently been ranked in top five game lists for the last two years. Here's how it works. Two teams go up against each other. You choose to be the terrorist or the counter-terrorist. The objective, both teams have to wipe each other out. And this includes planting or diffusing bombs, depending on which side you're on. It's an excitement game. You never know like who will win and who will lose. Sometimes it's easy to predict, sometimes not. So you never know. Lah. I feel like every time when we train, it's like a process of learning. There's also like teamwork, communication skills in the game. Not only like individually, but also how to work as a team. CSGO is like a teamwork game. So if you don't like have the teamwork, you basically lose the game easily. So basically, me and my team, uh, we train six times a week. So we only off on Saturday normally. I won't lie, there will be also sometimes where like assignments and stuff like that makes my time a bit like packed. It's a bit rough sometimes, but it's manageable. I actually won like a tournament called WSG before. So they reached out to me and asked me whether they could do like interview with me. They supported in a way which they encouraged and they promoted like gaming. Nowadays, like students get to have that freedom of choosing the topic that they want to do. My lecturer is also pretty like cool. She mentioned like before like there's like no point of forcing you guys to do a topic that you don't like. So like maybe you guys can choose something that you're interested in. So I was like, oh, maybe I can do gaming. To compete at the elite level, Shanice and her teammates have to pass various rounds. The team had to first overcome fellow gamers here in Malaysia. That brought them to China, where she defeated other competitors from Southeast Asia. This achievement brought them to Valencia, Spain, where they competed at DreamHack Showdown, a 100,000 US dollar all-women CSGO tournament in July of 2019. 
Normally I'll be the first person who go in, which is what we call entry. And then there will be like following up like second entry. I like to play the role as like second entry. You're good at it. Uh, decent. <laughs> My dad was always supportive. He plays games himself. So maybe he has that understanding. I invited to play World of Tanks with me, but unfortunately, you know, she's not she's not into that game because he says it's too slow. <laughs> just like a just like his old man. Uh, my name is Anders. I'm a Grab driver. Uh, and uh, oh yeah, forgot. I'm also Chinese dad. Uh, what my dad gave me on one of my birthdays gave me a, a PC. Started playing games at a very young age, you know, just like Shanice. She's studying in Inti now. Gaming helps her with her day-to-day -day things. It keeps her very disciplined. She has uh, a regime, tells you when you play, when you train, when you do your studies. They become more disciplined. When you go into gaming, it's not about just playing games, you know. You may have to think a bit. It's just like uh, life itself, like, you know, basically. You know. If you're doing it professionally, it's, it's really intense. Maybe my mother is a bit, she doesn't disagree, but then she, like, because we always stay in the room, and then it's like, oh, you, you only know how, you know, like, those normal Asian parents would tell you, like, oh, uh, stop, stop staying in the room and play games and all. But then as, like, I play in my team, and stuff like that, she began to like understand and actually now she's very supportive, yeah. Sometimes I'm a bit rebellious also myself. Lah. I mean, uh, I would like her to finish her studies. Uh, after that, uh, it's her life lah, basically. You know, as long as you're happy doing the job, I will support you. you know? That's, that is what I told her. Just during the game, we just tell each other to like do our best. During tournaments, like you have that urge of winning. The satisfaction that you get when you win is that you not only win with your teammates but also because they are like family to me. Yeah, so you like, it's like you win with your family and friends. I get to represent my country also to play. Not, not a lot of people can do that. The support that I get from my family and friends like, or like people online that actually like encourages me to, to wanting to improve more and more and get better.